Let's have some fun. This is a Sal and Richard double teaming Tradio back in their Tradio series. I think they're at their best when they call Tradio. <laughs> they really they call in and they have a lot of fun. And the guys on Tradio just get so upset. This they call uh, Deer Meat and Shotgun Blast. All right. Tradio call. Have some fun with this. And, you know, when I listen to Tradio, really, I, I cannot believe there is radio like this still out there. But it's there. Welcome to Ron Swap Shop. Now, here's Mr. Swap Shop himself. All right. Lines are open for the Swap Shops. Thank you for that very nice introduction. Let's go back to the phones. Good morning on the Swap Shop. Good morning. How are you today? I'm well today. How are you? I'm good. Well, you know, it's deer season now, mm -hmm. and I got some deer meat I want to sell. Okay. I use a whole deer. I got some of the more exotic type of meat. Like, I got uh, 15 pounds of grade A deer vagina lip steaks, and you can also make vagina lip chili. You know what? Uh, this is the guy. All right. Okay. Let's track, uh, we'll track the uh, phone numbers. we got to go through that again. Good morning. You're on the air. Hey, Ron, I also got four pounds of deer penis. You can make deer penis sandwich. Jeez, what is going on with this guy? <laughs> Grow up, will you, please? Well, you're a grown man, and you act like a child uh, eight years old. A lot of people get off on that, just acting so stupid. You know where that uh, stupid caller is calling from? You know, you won't believe it. Huh? From Sirius Radio. What's oh that God. all about? Serious Radio puts up their employees to call the swap shop shows and act uh, like an idiot. Yes, they do. Well, let's try the phone again. Good morning on the swap shop. Good morning. Yes. How are you, Ron? I'm okay. Who's this? This is Fred Norris from Downingtown. Yeah, what is it, Fred from Downingtown? <laughs> yes, sir. And I have to agree with you, Ron. You run a great show, and I hope you follow through on those gosh darn idiots. Well, uh, we will. You know, I'm, I'm surprised this came out of Serious Radio. Mmm, don't those idiots have anything better to do? Guess not. All right, talk to you. Well, hold on, Ron, I'm selling something. All right, what is that? Well, I'm selling a... We hold on, Fluffy, I'm on the phone. Sorry about that. I'm selling a Weston House shotgun. Okay. It's a 12-gauge. All right. Fluffy, stop licking the gun. Oh, Ron, I just shot Fluffy's asshole. Oh, <laughs> oh, this is really nuts. Yeah, it's got to be, it's got to be, I know who's, the, you know, <laughs> this is really stupid. All right, we'll uh, continue with the show uh, on a more adult level. Good morning on the Swap Shop. Cousin Jeff, get away from that shotgun! <laughs> okay, yeah, oh, my. Ah, right, this guy is really <laughs> persistent. I'll give him that. Anyway, I'll uh, get a job or do something with yeah, your brain. All right, be productive. No. Okay. All right. Yeah. What else do we have here? This person is really persistent, but I hate to tell you. Uh, okay, uh, I'm going to answer the call. Go ahead. You're on the swap shop. Got seven pounds of deer rectum tacos. Uh, There's there are just you know people with no purpose in life and uh they just find these little things to do and what are you going to do and a good morning you're on the swap shop and another one okay so there's two going at it now so we have two frickin frack out there two uh, lame brains with mush for brains good morning you're on the air ron i got three pounds of deer taint meat uh, and good morning you're on the swap shop hey ron boy it sure is hard to get through to you today well, i'm sorry uh because we're getting so many screwball calls but i'm sorry about that well anyway i'm selling a washer dryer uh the dryer works fine but the uh the washer's a little bit on the fritz my wife had to gummed it up trying to wash or use tampons oh my god what is this this is really stupid you know it's we trace these calls to serious radio and I'm beginning to wonder if it's Howard Stern to put up some stupids to do his dirty work for no him. Way. I really believe that because I understand that uh, he has uh, he's bent on disrupting uh, shows of this nature, like swap shops around the country, right. and he has his uh, idiot uh, followers uh, call around. And pose and do these sort of things to to the show hosts. And uh, right. be right back after this. Listen to that music. It's like is that the music they play when like Harding won the presidency? <laughs> Yay, President Harding won. You know, it's like the music from Boardwalk Empire. Yeah, it's you know? another time. It's like we stepped into a time machine. Now, what year would that be that we're in? Like, 1930s or yeah, something? Like the, yeah, oh, right. Like the, no, you're right. 1930s. Yeah. yeah. 
the, the, when they used to do that thing with their knees and when, <laughs> when they dance, the Charleston. Right. <laughs> what is that? Dixieland. Wow. Yeah, you know, I'm the enemy of Swap Shop. Didn't I, you sit down and you had a plan? You said, look, there's these little shows all across the country. Well, I want to disrupt them. To be honest, it's a little deeper than that, a little more pathological. <laughs> oh, when, really? I was, when I was nine years old, my parents were murdered by a Swap Shop host. <laughs> and I swore, like Batman. Death I would, to all Swap that's Shop. That's right. Yeah, that's right. I, I, will, I will disrupt <laughs> Swap Shop. <laughs> Holy mackerel. That's some, you know, like not only is it old fashioned radio, but the music they play is even old. I mean, everything about yeah. it. It's like you turn they your radio on. They have not stepped into the 21st century. Imagine, like, that'd be a good movie. You go into a coma, you wake up, and in the hospital, they have Swap Shop on, and you think you've traveled back in time. Right. <laughs> oh, my God. A time well, you never knew. And you start screaming how, no, 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 it's 2012. And the, but, but wait, the radio says it's 1933. Oh, I'm so confused. <laughs> and then you jump out a window and kill yourself, and that's the end of the movie. Oh, man, that's great. I like when he goes, we've traced it back, the, the threat, we've traced it back to these guys at Sirius. So they do have some modern technology. <laughs> they can actually look at a... What do they call it when your Some phone screen. comes up? Your phone number comes up? I don't even believe they have that technology. I think at this point they just know it's from Sirius and they <laughs> act like they're tracing. And the tracing indicates that they're going to come and send to the police for us. But it is a radio show. You're allowed to call in and do... They know. ask for callers. Don't ask for callers if you don't want them. And where do I buy that deer penis? I'm not sure all of those are Richard. <laughs> uh... Deer taint tacos. 